Hello, Fantasy P and viewers around the world. Um, waivers are about to kick off. Let's see. This week we got uh, Derek Carr, probably the best free agent out there. Some defenses probably will go. Other than that, it's probably going to be a boring week, but let's see. That is a map of the United States where all of our viewers live. Let's see if I milk spends $1 this week. He's still stuck at $100 a fab for the season. I'm not sure what to talk about until this uh, starts. Any questions from the viewers, the 2,000 of you watching, or two, whichever it is? Hey, Peter. I am the uh, first ever Dirty Dan Award winner, and not only that, but the first Andy Award winner ever. Uh, looking forward to the end of the season to see if I win any awards again this year. All right, I'm refreshing the waiver report. It still hasn't gone through. Give it another few seconds. Here we go. All right. Start out with the milkman making his first move of the year. He uh, spent $16 on Zay Jones seems like a horrible deal, but we'll see how that pans out. And he drops Mike Gasucki. Uh, next, we got Nick, $13 on Romeo Dubs. I put in a waiver on him, too, for $4. And it looks like that was the next highest bid, so Nick wasted $9 at least. Uh, Dan picks up David Njoku for $7. Then the Eagles defense for 6 to Peter. Then... Yours truly get they're playing the Jets this week, so that will be the pickup of the week. Uh, then an uh, unsuccess unsuccessful bid for David Njoku and Zay Jones, both trying to go for five dollars to Peter or sorry to Nick and Dan, respectively. Nick gets JD McKissick, and then a bunch of failed waivers. A uh, bunch of people going for that Steelers defense against the Jets. Uh, even Dan put in some money on the Steelers defense. Uh, Dan ended up getting the Giants defense. Some more low bids on Romeo Dubs and Zay Jones. Looks like Milk only overbid by 11 to get Zay Jones. Uh, then some kickers, defenses, and an unsuccessful uh, claim for Greg Dorch, the wide receiver from Arizona with a funny name. All right, let's see. It, is it Romeo Dobbs? I have no idea. Anyway, so uh, any questions before we sign off? Rumor has it uh, a new podcast, Fantasy PD, will be recorded tonight and uh, aired tomorrow. There, uh, I've heard that after all the mishaps with the podcast and bad reviews recently, they're going for a big-time guest this week. So let's see. If they can find anyone better, I'm looking forward to that. Oh, <laughs> there's already been a leak of the new rankings. I have not, I have not seen that leak yet, but I will uh, look forward to watching it. I uh, that's it. Not too much exciting for waivers. A few overbids on Zay Jones and Romeo, the receiver from the Packers. I uh, other than that. Pretty uh, standard week on the waiver wire. Let's see the the budget summary after this week. Milk's finally got some money gone. Uh, Chris still at forty five dollars. He did not spend any this week. 
And then a lot of people still in the, the 70 to 90 range. So a lot more pickup side in action that's going to happen. All right. I can't wait for the podcast tomorrow morning. I will see you all later. This is Berg signing out.